here in Shibuya, in the middle of Tokyo, and right now those people who don't hurry are gonna be stuck here for the rest of the night. So what's going on in here? In this video, I'm going to show you the other side of Tokyo nightlife that you rarely ever see, and I'm going to answer the question, why is everyone sleeping in the middle of the city? Shibuya, and especially the Shibuya Crossing, is a place that even if you've never been to Japan, you have probably seen it in movies, music videos, and uh, other contemporary works of art. Shibuya, I got my squid leg, I got a fish! <laughs> Shibuya is a busy location with lots of people around, which is why it has gained popularity even outside of Japan, because it perfectly exemplifies what Tokyo is all about. Neon lights and people. Lots of people. But even though Tokyo is the biggest city in the world, and famous for its night scenery, unlike New York, it actually is a city that sleeps. You see, public transportation in Tokyo stops around midnight every single day. Even on those busy weekend days when people want to go out. I've read multiple reasons why, such as to have time to do maintenance on the trains at night, to make people use taxis more to keep the taxi industry going, to office workers wanting to have the excuse to leave the office to be able to catch the last train in order to avoid overtime work. You see, if you don't catch the last train around midnight, you're stuck in the city until the morning. This is why capsule hotels exist in Japan in the first place, so that people who miss the last train have some place to go for the night. Not everyone of course can afford to pay the high price for a couple of hours to sleep in a capsule hotel, which is why many people who miss the train decide to just wait for the first train in the city streets. <laughs> And yeah, sure, alcohol plays a huge part in this, but still, you definitely see much less people sleeping in the middle of the road if Tokyo had 24-7 public transportation. In order to show you guys this, I took my trusty video camera with me and went to explore the streets of Tokyo at night, to document what happens during those hours when thousands of people are stuck in the city, unable to go home. I arrived around midnight before everything shut down and decided to eat some ramen while waiting for the last people to escape the city. <laughs> Once most of the people had left and the doors were closed, things got much more quiet in the center. People were hanging out around the city or acting like zombies as per usual. The thing with Shibuya is that since it is a famous place around the world, it attracts a lot of tourists. Which is why most nights the Japanese go home before the last train and the tourists stay and drink around the convenience stores. With tourists drinking in Shibuya every single day till the morning, the area quickly starts to look like my room. <laughs> Dirty and disgusting. I bet many people have their mental image of Japan shattered when they visit the central areas during the night, because Japan is usually thought to be this super clean country, which it is to a certain extent, but still, it is in the end a place just like any other place on earth. シブヤの街で過激化する路上飲み。おい、ロングゼロ。ロングゼロ。ロー。美味しいです。コンビニの前で先ほどに集まっているのは外国人観光客です。昨日、渋谷の街を歩いてみると、飲み終えた空き缶
I just want to say, I have nothing against drinking outside. I think it's probably better to drink outside than drink in a bar. It's at least cheaper if nothing else. And I admit, I have done my fair share of drinking in Shibuya too. Not in a long time, but I have. Now, I always cleaned up after myself, and I just wish other people would do that too. But the main point here is that Japan gets glorified a lot online, and in my videos I just kinda want to show the real Japan. I mean, Japan is great and all, but it's just a normal place like any other. And I don't want people to expect too much from it, because when you expect too much, you're only gonna be disappointed. I don't want people to go to Shibuya and expect like, I don't know, schoolgirls, uh, robots, neon lights and clean streets and be welcomed by <laughs> tourists and rats. I want people to be prepared for, you know, just <laughs> reality. But please, go to Shibuya, it's great, enjoy yourself. Just after you're done, please, clean up after yourself. Now, let's get back on the video. After filming all the disgusting things in the city streets, such as the puke, the rats, the cockroaches, and worst of all, my own face, I had to take a short break from all of this. I decided to walk to one of my favorite places in Tokyo, the Yoyogi Park. It's only about 10 minutes away from the Shibuya station, but it feels like another world. The weather was perfect. The night sky was about as good as it can be in a major city. I even made friends with a local bat. I really don't know what else to say than that. I was outside alone at 3 a.m. and I had an amazing time. I just kind of realized why I like the nightlife of Tokyo so much is that once you come outside of the exact city centrum, like outside of the station area, there's no one around, like I was just in the park, the weather is perfect, no mosquitoes, no one's there, it's just calming and quiet and uh, even where I'm right now, yeah sure there are some cars, but I'm like five minutes from the, like, the exact center of the whole Tokyo area and uh, no one is here and it's because like those people who come here, like uh, they cannot leave because there's no trains, which means that if they don't have a reason to be here, they don't come here. So, like sure, the stationery and the bars, they're full because people go to the bars, but in here, where there's nothing, there's no one. I'm in the biggest city in the world, and it's Friday night, and I can just enjoy the city by myself. It's half past three right now and uh, it's much less people than there were just a couple of hours ago. As you can see and uh, everyone who's still here is either drunk or sleeping or both. In order to survive the last couple of hours before the first train came, I did what I've been told to do since I was a kid. If you can't beat them, join them. 